Hey guys, so today I am going to be doing my makeup, but I'm going to be testing out a load of new things. This is like the ultimate testing makeup video because not only am I going to be trying out some new like techniques, but I've also got a load of new makeup that I've never tried before that I'm going to do a first impressions of. So today I'm going to be trying to do Instagram makeup because you see these pictures of girls and guys on Instagram with like just insane makeup. Like they do all of these things that make it look flawless and just like... So I'm gonna try and do like the whole baking thing, which I've never tried before. I'm gonna do a cut crease for the first time. Oh, I've got like a lip kit thing that I've never tried before. When I try new things, usually it goes wrong. So I don't know how this is gonna go, but I'm gonna give it my best shot and I hope you enjoy it. So the first product that I have to try is actually something I've tried already, but I've only used it twice and you guys haven't really seen me use it before. So I thought you'd be excited to see that I have a new foundation. If you saw the video where Alex did my makeup, you will already know that I now have this. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour foundation and loads of you were asking what the shade was. This is in the shade Porcelain which is the lightest one. Oh hang on a minute. I just remembered I wanted to get my old foundation as well because I'm basically going to mix the two of them together today. Mix together my old foundation which was way too dark with my new foundation which is a little bit too light. So together they should make the perfect baby. So I've put a little bit of each one on my hand. I don't know if you guys can see the difference in the colours. Like how did I used to use one that dark when I'm actually this pale? How? I want my foundation to be quite full coverage today because in oh, ah <laughs> because I feel like the Instagram makeup pictures always look so flawless so I need to make a really flawless base. Oh yeah I have already done my eyebrows by the way because that's the only thing I didn't have anything new to try off. But yeah for those of you wondering how I'm getting on with the L'Oreal foundation I really really like it. It's really good coverage. It blends really nicely. I feel like it blends a lot better with one of these than with a brush but it does blend really nice. Okay so that is my foundation done. Do you know what that was so much easier having my hair out my face ever since I did my hairstyle video last week. I'm like obsessed with having my hair out of my face now. I'll leave it linked below if you didn't see it. I'm now just going to get my collection concealer and pop that under my eyes. And I'm going to blend this in with this little friend that I've got here. This was from my Primark testing makeup video that I did quite recently. I'm just going to blend my concealer in with this. Ooh, very spongy. It's such a sponge. Well, obviously it's a sponge, but it's like a, a really spongy sponge. <laughs> it's blending it so nicely, like so quick and easy, like way quicker than using my fingers. So I've got two no no <laughs> no no I've got two new highlighters to test in this video and I figured I probably would want quite a lot of highlight as I know the pictures on Instagram you see they have like a full-on glowy look so I'm gonna try two today I've got one that I need to put on now because it's a like liquidy kind of one or it's, well it's a balm it's the Ciate Dewy Sticks Luminous Highlighting Balm I only know it from nail polishes but they actually do make a few bits apparently and look how cute the packaging is yeah I, I don't know what do I do with it I'll probably just rub it on glide this balm onto cheekbones brow bones cupid's bow and anywhere light would naturally hit your face all over the place then I'm just gonna put a little bit down here highlighters like this scare me because I feel like they're just gonna take off your foundation or make it go like like that it's quite sticky obviously because it's a balm but yeah I mean if you like that kind of thing it works quite well it's a nice sort of like subtle glow but I'm glad that I've got another foundation not why do I keep calling them foundations? They're friggin' highlighters. I'm glad I've got another highlighter to put on top later because it's made a really subtle glow, but it's not highlighting enough for me. <laughs> put a bit down. Oh, crap. So now I'm going to try and do a bit of baking, which, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go bake a cake. Hope you don't mind. See you in a minute. <laughs> I'm going to try and bake my face, which I've never tried before. So I picked up this like white loose powder. So this is the Maybelline Master Fix Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. Let's have a look. I mean, I don't know why I'm saying it like that. It's probably just going to look like white powder, isn't it? <laughs> oh, this is going to make such a mess, isn't it? Come on. I'm just going to lift the flap. I'm just going to tip a little bit into the pot. Oh, it looks like drugs. Not that I know what they look like, but <laughs> you can only imagine that they look a little bit like this. <laughs> it looks like icing sugar because it's for baking. Oh, I bet that, that's probably not why they did it. I'm going to use my beauty blender for this because I think that's how they do it. They like proper press it into the skin and just sort of press it into my under eye area. Mm. I need to like, <coughs> it goes proper in your holes, <laughs> your nose and your mouth. I, only those holes, no other holes. I'm like proper consuming this right now. Let's hope it actually is icing sugar and not cocaine. I've got it on my nose as well. I hope that doesn't mind. Do you mind? Oh, there's a lady walking up the path. Well, I'm not going to answer the door like this, but she just saw me. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I'm busy with my white powder. <laughs> Is this honestly safe to consume? Because it's definitely in my lungs now. <laughs> okay. I think that's enough 
baking for one day. I've never been very good at baking to be honest, so I don't know why I thought I'd be good at this. So whilst that is all setting into my skin, <laughs> and my lungs. Today I'm going to be using my Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette which I got for my birthday. So for my cut crease, which I'm very nervous about, I am going to start off with not that in my mouth. <laughs> I think actually first I'm going to get this dust off my face because it's distracting me too much. So I'm just going to like wipe it away. Oh no, I've made a big mistake. <laughs> Because I put that sticky highlighter on, obviously where I put that, the powder's just gonna have stuck to it. I've basically like mattified my highlight. Like, why didn't I think about that? That's so annoying. I'm gonna go for this one here, which is Summer Yum. <laughs> it's just a mm, warm toned brown color. And I'm just gonna take that on this little brush. I look blotchy. Oh God, I've got like an orange splodge there, haven't I? Where's that come from? What is going on? Let's try putting white powder over it. A little bit better. I've still got a bit. Why is that there? Where have you come from? You're not wanted. Am I in focus? Bloody well hope so. So I'm basically just gonna put a line above my foldy bit. I believe that's what you're supposed to do. I should have practiced this before this video. I have not. Ooh, that looks fantastic. I'm gonna take a clean brush and just sort of like try and blend that a bit. I'm now gonna take a really like small brush like this. This is like a winged liner brush. And I'm gonna take a darker brown. I think I'm gonna go with this one at the top here, which is called Charmed, I'm sure. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that. This is going really well. I think this is clean. I'm just gonna take this brush and try and blend that out a little bit. Oh, don't spread down there. That's my sticky area. If you land there, you'll never come off. Those that go there never return. Oh, this isn't a cut crease, is it? So I'm now going to cry. <laughs> I'm gonna get my concealer and put it on this brush here and try and like go over the bits where it shouldn't be. And hopefully that'll make more of a defined like crease. Oh my goodness, is this correct? Is this right? I think I've done it right. Because now that I've gotten rid of the bottom, you can see the sort of like defined, oh, hello mate. You can see the defined like cut crease. I'm gonna take this color, which is Nectar. Oh, actually that's a bit orangey, I think. I'm gonna take the one below, which is Peaches and Cream. And I'm gonna put that over the concealer bit. How is that getting in my mouth? Oh. It actually tastes quite nice. <laughs> Have I done it right? I think this eye looks better than this eye. I don't know. Probably when I'm editing this back, I'm going to be like, hell no, that looks naff. I'm going to take the like dark brown one again and just put a bit under here. Okay, I think I'm just going to leave it there for my first ever attempt at doing a cut crease. I think I did average. To be honest, I don't know if it even is a cut crease. There is a line. I mean, will that do? <laughs> also, I really like this palette. The colors are really easy to blend. There's so many pretty colors. I just wanna like try all of them, but I'll definitely be using this in more videos in the future. So I'm gonna do the rest of my face next and I don't have a new product for this. You've seen me use this little body shop palette before, but it's basically their contour palette and I'm just gonna use the contour and blush in this. So I'm gonna do quite a like defined contour. Hopefully it's gonna go well. Maybe that's a little too defined. <laughs> wow. Just dabbing on my contour. That's the way to do it. That'll do. We want the chiseled look today. We're going all out. <laughs> and I'm also gonna try contouring my nose, which I've never done before, but you know, my nose could probably do with it. So let's give that a go. I'm just sort of like putting a little bit in my nose bits here. Yeah, I think that kind of did something. I mean, my nose still looks pretty big, but <laughs> nothing's gonna save that. Well, a nose job, but I ain't going, going for that. Cool, that's the first time I've ever nose contoured, by the way. And then I'm just gonna take this blush as well and pop a little bit of that on my cheeks. Okay, so I just stopped filming for ages and basically redid these little patches here because I realized where I put this balm highlighter, nothing was taking on top of it. Like I realized that even the blush hadn't gone there. And then I tried to use these highlighters, which I was so excited to use and nothing was coming out. So I was like, right, something's gone wrong. These can't not work. Like bloody expensive. Like <laughs> if this doesn't work, I'll be mad. So I've just sort of like wiped off these bits and redone them so let's try that again i'm gonna take the shade pink heart get a little bit on my brush oh it's very iridescent <gasps> that's so cool i love it i also really want to try the purple one i'm gonna take a little bit of blue moon and just put it over it i don't know if they'll go but i just want to try both 
They are so good. Do a bit down my nose, a little bit on the end. I'm gonna take a little bit of the purple one and put it under my eyebrow and a little bit in my, oh wait, there's no mirror. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit in my inner, in my inner bit. So that is the highlight. I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. Like both of those colors that I tried are so pretty. I wanna try all of them, but I don't think I should put any more on top. I think I'm highlighted enough, but yeah, they work so well and they are so pretty, like really iridescent and just like now I just need to finish off my eyelashes. I say finish off, I haven't even started them yet. So <laughs> should probably do that. So for my mascara, I'm gonna be trying the It Cosmetics Hello Lashes 5-in-1 Volumizing Mascara. If you saw my what I got for my birthday video, you'll see that I was very impressed by the packaging because it was like proper heavy duty. And there's a foamy bit as well, which I love a bit of foam. <laughs> Ooh. I'm just gonna put one coat of mascara on because I am gonna be putting lashes on. So, I bought some new eyelashes because lots of you have request requested? Lots of you have recommended that I try the Ardell Wispies. So, we've got some Duo Lash Glue. Yay, my favorite thing, eyelash glue. These are the lashes that I went for. Okay, I'm just gonna cut these a little bit because they're definitely too big at the moment. Wait for them to go tacky. <laughs> okay, I think I've done it badly <laughs> i wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised i've stuck them down that's all that matters i'm gonna do the other one they're not sticking down in the corner very well because i suck at it i would describe them as wispy and fluttery and just very pretty but obviously i do need a lot of practice putting lashes on it's this middle bit i can never quite get it to sort of stay in place i think that's as good as they're gonna get i know they're far from perfect but i do really like the eyelashes and i think after a little bit of practice i might be able to do them better than this but they're very pretty and i'm now gonna do my bottom lash mascara Ooh. Yay! So that is my eyelashes done. And now the last thing we have to do is my lips. I've been filming this video for like an hour and a half. I am so slow. And I'm gonna try a lip kit for the first time because I just really want to. So this is the Makeup Revolution. Yeah, I didn't get like any Kylie Jenner ones because dollar dollar bills. So I got <laughs> the cheaper version. This is the Makeup Revolution Retro Lux Matte Lip Kit. And this is in the shade Grande, Grandi. And it's like a dark, I'd say like a dark brownie purple color. It's pink. I thought it was going to be like a dark nudey, slightly purpley colour, but it's pink. Thing is, I wanted to use like a dark nudey colour for this video because I feel like in like most of these sort of Instagram makeup pictures, they quite often have like a dark nude lip. Plus, I feel like that would go better with what I've done. So, I'm going to use a different lip product. Let me know if you'd like me to do like a full face of testing makeup revolution makeup. Give this video a thumbs up to let me know, and I'll try this in that along with like a load of their other products. Okay, I'm back. I have this, which I actually brought the other day, so this is still like something new that I've never tried before. I think this will work a lot better. It's still a liquid lipstick, but it's from Barry M and it's their Matte Me Up lip paints. Can I actually apply it? That is the other question. <laughs> oh, wow, it's very brown. I think I've applied it really messy. It wasn't the easiest to apply. It was quite runny, so it was sort of like spreading quite a lot. Quite tricky to put on. Okay, I was trying to neaten it up, but it's already dried. Like it dries really quickly, which I guess is a good thing, but also not a good thing if you are messy like me and you need to tidy it up. But color wise, it's exactly what I was looking for though. Like a dark brown matte nude color. I think it just goes really well with everything that I've done. I just need a bit more practice with lips, lips, liquid lipsticks because they are quite tricky to put on. So yeah, that is the finished look. I actually think it turned out all right, considering a lot of the things I did in this video were first times. I don't think it looks too bad. Obviously, I still need a lot of practice. It doesn't look too bad, does it? I mean, I'm no Instagram makeup person yet. Never will be, but <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to comment down below what you think of the overall look and give me your tips if you have any tips on how to do these things better because I'm sure I could have done a lot better. I was probably doing things wrong, so definitely let me know. Teach me. Teach me your ways. You guys are probably better at makeup than I am. <laughs> give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Oh, yeah.